Well hello and welcome to my latest video. Just like to remind uh, those people who are watching, whether new people or whether current viewers, that uh, now that my channel is monetized, that wonderful Facebook phrase, uh, I now make some money out of these videos and when you sit through the adverts, which I know can be a bit of a pain, you are helping to raise money. Now, the money uh, is going to charity and it's going to a place called the Vine Food Bank, which is in uh, New Addington, which is part of Croydon, which is in Surrey, in southern England, in the United Kingdom. I know a lot of people watch from overseas, so just give you a clue about what a food bank is. A food bank is a place that donates uh, food and other essential items to people who are uh, short of money or lack the means to purchase sufficient food for their family. So it performs a very valuable uh, service in the community, a service that should not be required in a country like the United Kingdom, but for a number of circumstances is required. So thanks for sitting through these videos. I hope you enjoy them and you're helping to raise money for a worthy cause. So moving on, what is today's video about? Today's video is about shoes. And a couple of people have asked me um, that for the new, or relatively new cyclists, I know a lot of people have taken up cycling in this difficult time, what is the best form of footwear to wear while you are cycling? So I want to go through the various options for you. And we're going to start off with uh, these. And um, if you're uh, relatively uh, new to civilization or you are uh, here from another planet these are known as shoes these are these are actually flute, flute shows f-l-u-c-h-o-s other brands of shoe are available they are not very good condition because I've been wearing them for a while anyway can you wear a pair of shoes while cycling yes of course you can and most people throughout the world uh, wear shoes sometimes of this quality, sometimes better quality, to go cycling. And there is nothing wrong with wearing a pair of shoes to cycle. So, don't feel embarrassed because you wear shoes. If you progress in your cycling, or you want to take your cycling not more seriously, but you want to improve the link between your shoes and your pedals, you might choose to go in for a pair of what are called clipless pedals and therefore you require shoes that have got cleats and these particular cleats are often seen on uh, mountain bike shoes and they enable you to walk in your shoes when you are off the bike but these will clip in to your pedals and allow your foot or your shoe to be securely attached to the pedal while you are riding your bike. The benefit of these shoes is that you are enabled to walk in them when you are off the bike. As opposed to the next model, and these are a pair of Giro, G-I-R-O shoes, and these have what are called road cleats on them. And these road cleats clip on to the particular pedals that you have it locks your shoe against the pedals. Particular benefit because it enables you to pull your foot up as well as pushing it down when you're cycling. And also these, along with these mountain bike type cleats, are very helpful when it's raining. Because if it's raining, uh, it's very easy for a normal shoe, here was a normal shoe, to slip off the pedal. But with your shoe locked to the pedal, either in this system or in the previous system that you saw, that makes it very beneficial. These particular rather attractive orange coloured shoes were fairly expensive. They have laces. Some of the shoes that you buy have got laces. Some of them have got what's called a boa dial, which is a boa constrictor turning system that tightens up the uh, a kind of wire around your foot. Uh, or they have like a, a Velcro strap. It doesn't particularly matter which system that you use. Some people prefer one to the other. And the BOA system is often found on uh, quite expensive shoes. Well, this is a lace system, and these shoes were fairly expensive as well. So these are road shoes with road cleats. Now, the last type of pair I want to consider, and these are the best shoes that you can wear while cycling. Now you will say they're not shoes, Julian, what's the matter with you? They're boots. And yes, they are boots. 
I'm not quite sure which make they are, but what makes these so wonderful? Well, I am a member of the Old Portlian Cycling Club, www.oldportlandcc.co.uk, and we have a 10 mile time trial event that takes place every year. And about 25, 20, 25 years ago, uh, one of our riders, a gentleman called Colin Smith, turned up to the event. He'd come straight from work and he'd forgotten his cycling shoes. So he rode the event in these particular boots. And he smashed the course record and nobody since has beaten his particular record. So, for that reason, I say these are the best shoes or boots, if you like, that you can wear for cycling. Now, the type of shoes that these are, these are like a, a Timberland style boot or a Caterpillar style boot. Uh, other brands are available. They do need to have this um, upper ankle support here. They do need to have laces, and these laces are, are quite long. Uh, they do need to be made of leather. They do need to have this particular handle attachment at the rear so you can put them on and they do need to have this particular no they do they do need to have this which is called Colin Boots not quite his name wasn't Colin Boots his name was Colin Smith so I'm not sure if this was a mistake in the printing it should have been Colin's Boots but anyway we've attached that on there it's not essential that the boots that you buy are Colin boots uh, as i say they could be timberland they could be caterpillar other makes are available but they must be uh, work boots you must wear them during your normal working day if you work from home you're entitled to use the boots that you wear from home but they must be of this kind of weight they don't have to be attached to a plinth although that does make it uh, easier to cycle uh, sometimes harder to grip the pedals if they're attached to a plinth but for those various reasons, these are the best shoes that you can wear for cycling, and I highly recommend them. So, get the boots, turn the pedals, break some records. Hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, hope you uh, will sit through the adverts and contribute to the Vine Food Bank in Croydon. And hope you're taking care, and thanks for watching. See you next time.